This is just a short uh, video of our tech setup at Cyprus. Uh, I'm up in the tech booth, which is in the back balcony um, with all of our tech gear for Sunday services. And um, this is our main sanctuary. It seats about 750 people, three balconies um, and a bottom floor. Um, so it's kind of been, an, it's an interesting shaped room. It was designed for more traditional music in the 80s. And uh, so it's proved challenging with all the, the parallel walls and the concrete pillars in the corners. And, um, but we've made some really good progress here and uh, actually recently had a full renovation of our audio, video, and lighting, which we finished about a year and a half ago. Um, so that's what I'm showing here in this video. So uh, again, I'm up in the tech booth. We have a 48 uh, input uh, Allen and Heath digital board. We've got uh, an iPod that does DB readings and then we've got an iPad doing frequency uh, reading just so we can find any problem frequ frequencies if we have any. Um, and so we've got this uh, board kind of dialed in for uh, our sound tech and some of our volunteer sound techs. And we've tried to make it as simple and as clear as possible. So there are four banks, four channels of faders. So you got vocals on one, band on another, uh, drums and media. Uh, and then we've got all of our EQs for each uh, channel. And each, each actually each musician has their own EQ and compression saved. So it's easy to recall uh, for uh, the volunteer if they know that you know X and Y singers are singing. They can just recall the settings and get the right mics out for those singers and then those singers just sound as good as they did um, when we set them up. Um, something we started doing recently, which is really cool, um, is we've started using scenes, which um, are basically like uh, settings that are saved for a specific purpose. So we've got different scenes all the way through the service. This first one is uh, our pre-service media. So um, when you hit that scene, um, it pulls, it mutes all the band and it unmutes the iPod and the media channel uh, and sets them at their proper levels. Um, so you can see right here, they're set correctly, proper levels, unmuted, and everything else is muted. And then um, when the first song comes on, the, the volunteer or the sound tech, whoever is running sound that Sunday, just hits go scene for the first song. It unmutes the right channels. It puts everything at the right level. And they just walk all the way through the service and the faders change and everything changes, the EQs change as needed. And then um, we get to the sermon and then it mutes all the channels and um, brings up the pastor. And so it's just super great because what that does is technically you could um, have your sound tech come in on Thursday for rehearsal, dial every single song in, save it. And if for some reason he got hit by a bus or got sick or something and couldn't come in Sunday, you could have a pretty inexperienced volunteer run through the scenes and just go to each scene um, all the way through the service. So that's cool. Um, and obviously you'll probably need to make some tweaks, small tweaks to the mix as the room fills up with people. But really it's been revolutionary in allowing anyone to man the console if we need it. Um, typically we have our sound tech run console. We, uh, like I said, try to make things as easy as possible for our volunteers and for everyone so that things are simple. So to turn the whole system on, you just turn one key. It turns on all the wireless. It turns on um, everything, all the amps and everything. And then we have one, key, one rack here that one button turns everything on for video and uh, visual media. So that's kind of our tech booth. Um, and then what we have on the st stage is we have... Um, in this room, uh, the integrators decided to go with a mono uh, line array. So we've got one uh, line array that is covering the entire uh, floor and balconies. And then we have some um, small side fills up, up behind this beam to get these people because they're kind of out of coverage and the same on this balcony. So that's our, our uh, system that um, the integrators thought would be best. It's called the the Bose room match system, and it has pretty high accolades. Um, so that's what we use to cover our people. And it, it, it has pretty good coverage. It's a little inconsistent from the, the bottom to the balconies, but um, that's just a tricky room. So uh, I'll go down to the stage and I'll show you kind of what, so this is our stage. Um, I work really hard to keep it as clean as possible, like no extra wires. If something's not being used, um, we take it off the stage and put it in the back. And we actually built these 
uh, walls to um, store bigger things like the piano, uh, which is back there. The grand piano is back there right now. And then like the drums, like tonight I have to strike the stage for a graduation tomorrow. So the drums will go back behind these new walls that we built. Um, for bigger things, they go back there, but the smaller stuff goes back to the uh, sound closet. The other thing these walls do is they actually break up the, um, the flutter echo between these two parallel concrete walls that we have here. So that, that's like a dual purpose for those walls that we've, we had put in. Um, so all of our people up front, uh, we try to have them off of music stands, uh, just memorizing their music or lyrics or using the confidence monitor back there uh, for lyrics. Uh, and we just try to keep the stage super clean so we don't have um, mess or ugliness or distraction. And um, back here, we've got a couple people on wireless pack. So I'm on a wireless pack. And then uh, our singers up front, they get a wireless pack. So the, the there's a cable that runs under the stage back to this little guy back here, which is shooting out some wireless um, so that the people up front can kind of be free to move around a little. Now, this guy back here is like, the key to the whole band. He controls um, all of our clicks, our loops. Um, so we use Ableton Live, which um, is, has been really great. And there's different channels here. So uh, this is a, these are all the songs that we do in the key, you know, in the right order and everything. And then um, we've got like the click track coming out of one channel with, uh, we use vocal cues for like band count and stuff so that everyone hears in their in-ears um, one, two, three, four, and we start the song without having to turn around and look at each other or count. It just kind of happens. And then we've got a guitar pad, which is like an ethereal sound on a different track. Some, some of our songs use drum loops, like Revelation song, we use a drum loop and a melody loop. So those are on different tracks. And sometimes I'll record backing tracks for like a synth part or something. And so that comes out of a channel. Um, and so that's been like super amazing how it's made the band come together. Um, and so that, that comes out through here. Well, it doesn't matter, but uh, Ableton Live has been really revolutionary to making our band tighter and better and making the transitions like seamless. And we use, uh, in conjunction with Ableton Live, we use Mainstage for the MIDI keyboard to run sounds. And what's really cool is I've uh, linked... Um, Ableton Live and Mainstage so that um, Mainstage actually finds the tempo of the song that we're playing automatically. And so if your keyboard patch has like a delay or a tremolo, it's automatically synced up to the click without having, without the person having to mess with that. So, and I control all of that stuff on Ableton, like going to the next song with this soft step foot controller. So, um, we can go through each song, it starts each song, the count in, the click track, the pad, all that. And then if I need to kill the click or if I need to kill the pad um, or if I need to kill the loops, I can just step on that. So, so this little setup's been great and um, the leader can use this or the drummer can use this. Um, and then our guitar, uh, as you can see, my pedals for the electric aren't actually going to an amp, they're patched through the, the patch bay and the amp is in the back of the stage in an isolation closet. So that just keeps stage volume down and um, it's really good. So the amp's back behind this wall in a little isolation closet. So that keeps um, the floor volume down, which you see there's no wedges. So everything comes out of that giant cluster there and sounds great for the people. So that's kind of how we run things here. And then I guess I could show you the the gear closet. So this is uh, the gear closet and we just try to keep all of our cables uh, organized by length and type. Um, and then we have our mics that we use and then our batteries and stuff like that. So nothing real special back here, but we try to keep things oh, like our, our musicians in ears. They have, you know, all their earbuds labeled and this is where they keep the ears and this is where they keep the wireless packs. So yeah, we just try to make systems that make things easy for everybody. Um, and that's, that's what we do. And we've, it's been a blessing to see how the church and how the team has just grown as, and has responded well to all this. I think if I were going to do it all over again, I would only change two things. One, I would, um, I would not fly the subs because right now the subs are flown up top. And, um, it's just 
I found that subs always sound better when they're coupled to the floor. There's like a tighter bass response when they're on the floor. Um, and then the other thing I would do is I'd probably have a separate monitor console for the in-ears because um, the, the, the acoustics of the room and the acoustics in your head are totally different. So if you're using the EQ for the room in your ears, it doesn't always sound that great. So having a specific monitor console for the ears would, would be the only other change that I would make. Um, but yeah, right now we're pretty happy with how things are sounding and how things are set up. So that's Cypress Tech.